Good morning everybody, it's Tuesday the 26th of January and here is your rocking recall activity for today. You have some divisions from the three times table. Pause the video now and see how many answers you can work out. And here are your answers. 3 divided by 3 is 1, 21 divided by 3 is 7, 30 divided by 3 is 10, 6 divided by 3 is 2, 0 divided by 3 is 0, 27 divided by 3 is 9, 9 divided by 3 is 3, 12 divided by 3 is 4, 36 divided by 3 is 12, 15 divided by 3 is 5, 21 divided by 3 is 7, 18 divided by 3 is 6, and 24 divided by 3 is 8. And here is your place value activity for today. If you look at question one, it shows that 267 equals 200 plus 60 plus 7. So what you need to do for the following numbers is partition them into their hundreds, tens and ones. Pause the video now to work your way through them. Good luck. And here are your answers for place value today. Pause the video now so you can mark your answers. And here is your geometry challenge for today. What you need to do is compare the two angles in each question and you've got to decide which angle is more than or less than or if they're equal to one another. So remember with our more than and less than symbols, imagine them like crocodiles and that they are greedy and they're always going to eat the larger number, the larger fraction or the larger angle. Pause the video now and decide whether the angles are more than, less than or equal to another. And here are your answers for geometry today. Pause the video now so you can mark your own. Our learning objective today is to investigate equivalent fractions and to be successful we need to know what the word equivalent means and we need to know that a fraction is part of a whole. Hi everyone and uh, welcome to maths today. We are going to undertake another investigation into uh, equivalent fractions. All you need today is some objects. Now, it will help if all the objects are the same. I'm very lucky. I bought Hawks Class's lolly sticks home, so I'm going to use those. Anything like pencils, cars, buttons, spoons, anything you've got at home that you've got quite a lot of is going to be helpful today. So have a look around the house, ask mum or dad what you can use um, to help me investigate fractions. The first thing we need to do to be successful today is to remember what the word equivalent means. Hmm. Pause the video now and have a think and see if you can remember. The word equivalent means something that's the same. So what we're looking at today, very similar to yesterday, is fractions that show the same amount. So, I hope you've got your objects ready, and we're going to start. How exciting. Okay guys, here I have 12 lolly sticks. So whatever object you're using at home, you need 12 of them. Next, you need to split your 12 objects into two equal groups. Our whole, which is our 12 objects, has been split into two equal groups and as a fraction we would say it has been split into half and here you can see one half and one half is equivalent to a whole. Now you need another set of 12 objects. Here are my next 12 lolly sticks. Now we need to split our next set of 12 objects into four equal groups. And now we have our whole, our 12 objects, split into four equal groups. And as a fraction, we would write each group, or say that each group is one quarter of our whole. And as you can see here, one quarter add one quarter add one quarter add one quarter is equivalent to a whole. Now, if you look very closely, you can see that one half is equivalent to two quarters. If you remember, we started off with 12 lolly sticks, 
12 is our whole. When we've split our whole into two equal groups, we have found that one half plus one half is a whole. Now we can see that one half of 12 lolly sticks is six lolly sticks. When we've split our whole, our 12 lolly sticks or 12 objects into groups of four, we have split them into quarters. One quarter of 12 lolly sticks is three. Now, as you can see here, one half of 12 lolly sticks is equivalent to two quarters of 12 lolly sticks. And here I have my next 12 lolly sticks and I've split them into six equal groups. Now, as you can see, our 12 lolly sticks, which is our whole, has been split into six equal groups. And as a fraction, we would write that as one sixth. And as you can see here, one sixth, add 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 one sixth is equivalent to a whole. Now we are going to compare our halves with our sixths and see which fractions are equivalent to one another. As you can see here, one half of our whole is equivalent to three sixths. How clever is that? So for the rest of your math session, I'd like you to continue as we have just done, using your 12 objects that you're going to split into different equal groups and you can compare them as we've just done to see which fractions are equivalent to another. You could use your fraction strips of paper from yesterday to help you investigate which fractions are equivalent. I would love to see what you find out. Please tweet me or email either myself or your teachers and let us know what you found out. Thank you guys for tuning in and I hope you've enjoyed today's math investigation. Bye.